sense. Now, you know what you just did? You stepped out of that old definition of your job title and into the new one because you are now a miracle worker. What is a miracle? Something amazing that happens. I'll tell you what's amazing. When you can transform a life, when you can turn on a light, when somehow you can usher in an epiphany in someone's life, that, my friends, is lightning in a bottle. You can't teach that, as they say. If you have the ability to do that, you are a powerful person and you are good for the entire planet because that's what mentors do. That's what gatekeepers do. That's why you're in that position in case we miss the mark. Those of you who saw, like movies as I do, you probably saw The Matrix. How many did? Yeah, all three of them. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't like the second one. They, they were pretty good, though, all three. In The Matrix, the lead character is who? Okay, Neo. And Neo is on a journey, not unlike the students at the community college. And Neo's journey is to discover what? My man, his purpose. To discover his purpose. In 1969, throughout the United States, they did a study of incoming freshmen that year to ask them what was the reason they were going to college. 78% in 69 said that they came to discover their purpose in life. 1969, to keep in mind, it was a conscious time. It was the 60s, 78% of them. 30 years later, 1999, they did a similar survey. Can you guess what the predominant reason for going to college was? To get a job and make money. I'm preaching to the choir, I know that. And sometimes the choir forgets the words to the song, the rhythm to the, to the beat. <laughs> to get a job and make money. I, I'm not here to judge that. But what I'm saying is there is a difference. Something changed. Neo wanted to find his purpose. So the first thing that happened is Morpheus gets him in and says, you got to see a whole lot of people. We got to take you to the oracle, and then you got to see the, 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 uh, the, uh, the, uh, the gatekeeper. Hey, you got to see a few other people. Then you got to talk to the guy who created the whole thing so that you can discover your purpose. And once you discover it, you will become powerful. Motion will happen in your life. Not stagnation, not six years at a community college, not time in the military. You will become proactive because the life, the purpose-driven life is one that doesn't wait for permission. It knows where it's going. But Neo had to find one person who was the key to unlocking all of it. That one character was the gatekeeper. The writer, who, by the way, is a woman, an African-American woman, actually wrote The Matrix. It was a long lawsuit, and the judges said, yeah, you did. But so she started doing interviews because they said, well, why did you write it? And she says, well, the most important character in the whole thing was the gatekeeper. She says, I hide that because people think it's Neo. The reason why, you take the gatekeeper out, Neo never, ever solves the riddle of The Matrix and never discovers his purpose. The gatekeeper. The gatekeeper. The Wizard of Oz, you guys saw that? Beautiful movie. Let me borrow something from it. You got Dorothy from Kansas, right? And the thing hits her upside the head. She goes unconscious. There's this terrible tornado takes her up to a place called Oz. She's lost. And when she gets up there, the good witch comes out, looking very nicely, and says, you have to go see the wizard. The wizard can answer all of your questions and solve all your problems. And then she asked the munchkins, how do I get to the wizard? They said, follow the yellow brick road.